Hello, I am Mary Kay Sinner from Renville County Public Health, and I'm going to explain how messenger RNA vaccines work. First, I'm going to tell you how what happens when a germ enters your body. When a germ gets into your body, your body says, whoa, that is not a part of me. I'm going to kill it with my immune cells. Your immune system builds up lots of cells and goes to war against that germ and kills the invader. Then your body says, I'm going to keep some of those immune cells around in my body so that the next time that germ enters me, I'll remember it and I'll be able to kill it the second it enters rather than having to go fight a whole long war. Okay, the next thing I'm going to explain when a vaccine enters your body. A vaccine is an injection of just a little piece of a germ, a bacteria or a virus into your body. Then your body says, whoa, that's not a part of me. I'll kill it with my immune cells. But since it's only a little piece of the germ, your body only has to fight a short, easy, always winnable battle to kill the invader. But your body still says, I'm gonna keep some of those immune cells around in my body so that the next time that germ enters me, I'll remember it and I'll be able to kill it the second it enters rather than having to fight a whole war. So how does a mRNA vex? No, how does mRNA, messenger RNA work? Not the vaccine, but just the messenger RNA. So imagine a cell from high school biology. So you've got a cell membrane and then inside the cell membrane, you've got all that goopy stuff that's called cytoplasm. And then in the very middle is the nucleus with all of your genes and your DNA, your chromosomes, all of that is inside of the nucleus. Okay, usually your, your cells are going on through their day and the DNA will say, I need something. I need, I need to make something. For example, I need some new proteins for some new blood cells. I'm gonna send a messenger out of the nucleus, out into the goopy cytoplasm and, tell, and send that to the factories in the cytoplasm and tell them to make more proteins. So out it goes into the cytoplasm and the, the, the factories in your cytoplasm get the message and they go to work and they make whatever your DNA told them to make. Okay, how does a messenger RNA vaccine work? In 2005, scientists figured out a much quicker way to make vaccines than the way that we've been making them for hundreds of years and that is through messenger RNA vaccines. So they worked out this technology over 10 years ago and they've been waiting for this big chance to use this quicker technology. So when COVID-2 came along, the, 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 vi the virus that causes COVID-19, they found that there is a spike protein on the surface of the virus that sticks into our cell membranes like a key and allows the virus to enter our cells. So when the scientists were trying to figure out how can we make a vaccine, they just took a little bit of the spike protein from the outside of the COVID-2 virus and figured out the genetic code for that. Then they created a, a piece of messenger RNA that matched that spike protein. So the vaccine, they just inject that little piece of mRNA into our muscle um, and it gets into our goes through our cell membrane into the cytoplasm and our own cells, uh, the factories in our own cells make that spike protein. So the messenger RNA isn't coming from the, our own nucleus out into the middle of the cell. It's coming from the outside of, the, of our bodies into the middle of our cell, not into the nucleus, not into the chromosome, but just into the goopy part of our cell. And our own cells make those the, the little bit of spike protein. Then when that happens, your body says, whoa, that's not a part of me. I'll kill it with my immune cells. And since it's only a little piece of the germ, your body only has to fight a short, easy, always winnable battle to kill that invader. And your body, as usual, says, I'm gonna keep some of those immune cells around in my body so that the next time the germ enters me, I'll remember it and I'll be able to kill it the minute it enters rather than having to fight a whole war. So the important facts about this are the nucleus, does, the vaccine does not go into the nucleus of our cells. It does not become a part of our genes or DNA. Another point, the messenger RNA vaccine is very fragile and it starts breaking down the second it enters our body. It doesn't hang around very long at all. 
It's so fr fragile that it has to be frozen or refrigerated and used very quickly before it breaks down. The, the, the vaccine is not a virus. It is only the, the instructions of how to make a little tiny pit, bit of the spike protein so it cannot reproduce, it is not infectious, and it is not um, long-lasting, um, um, it is not a long-lasting danger to us. It simply helps our body create the immunological response that will, will remember and fight whenever a real spike protein entered our body. Thank you.